Hello everyone and welcome back to Lori's Boston Found Where Thrifted is the New Black. My name is Lori and I make a living thrifting and selling things online on apps like Poshmark and eBay. I also have my own website, Lori's Boston Found, if you wanna check it out. And I make YouTube videos. So if this is your first time visiting me, thank you so much for stopping by. You actually caught me on a really fun day because today I am doing a thrift competition with my good friend, Blake, from Posh Boss Blake here on YouTube. He's also Posh Boss Blake on Instagram. Be sure to give him a follow on all of his platforms and check out his video to see who won this challenge. We are going to hop back in time to the morning that I left to do my shopping for this event. And then I have a little bit of a thrift with me, um, just a snippet of a few things that I looked at. And then we will end this video with the haul to see what I got for $25 or less. Our theme for today is brunch with the girls or lunch with friends. So picturing, you know, going out after being all tied up at home for all these months and you finally get a lunch date to go out with your girlfriends or to go out for brunch. The outfit that I picked is something that I would love to wear to brunch. So I hope you like it too. Uh, let's get right into the video. If you're enjoying yourself at any time during this video, be sure to give this a thumbs up. It means so much to me. And also you can hit the bell notification to be notified when I release videos. First, you have to subscribe, so hit the subscribe button as well and you're in business. All right, thanks so much everybody. Let's get right into the video. Hi everyone, so it's a very chilly day here outside of Boston. I just bundled up and I'm heading over to my favorite savers, which is a short drive from my house. And I'm gonna go in and check out the scenery and see what I can find for this fun competition. All right, let's go. All right, walking into savers, I quickly realized that I had no plan. I had kind of wanted to hop on Pinterest and get a few ideas for inspiration, but I didn't really know where to go first. You know, usually I have a piece in mind, like say a blouse that inspires me or a pair of shoes, and then I can build my outfit around that. But since I had nothing to start with, I wasn't sure which direction I was going to go in. Um, so I found those suede boots that I thought were really cute, you know, just basic that would go with a lot. I found this jacket um, that I was excited about at first because I thought it was $112, but it was a company out of China, I believe. And um, I wasn't into the bolero style. That's not super me. I like a longer blazer. So that wasn't gonna work for me. I looked at those leopard heels. I decided they were way too high for brunch. I was thinking in terms of being somewhat comfortable. Um, I'm looking through some of the jackets. I definitely walked around for a long time, but you'll see the evolution of what I ended up getting. And I'm not even sure that the outfit that I chose is really featured in my thrift with me portion. Um, I thought maybe a light jacket would be cute. I ended up getting something else, um, but I will show you the piece that really caught my attention here um, and distracted me for a little while um, until I ultimately decided that it wasn't really brunch appropriate, but I did end up picking up this piece that you're gonna see. It's a Ralph Lauren leather vintage suede fringe coat. This is such a great piece. Um, it's $20 and at the time, I didn't realize I had the 50% off coupon. Um, and in the, I thought these would look nice with that suede jacket. But then I picked up these pink earrings that are really pretty. I found this Free People sweater. Um, this was a contender. I ended up getting both of these pieces, but this is not ultimately the outfit I chose for my brunch competition. Uh, this, I, I was liking the turquoise stuff when I was thinking in terms of that Ralph Lauren jacket, but just not for brunch. And there was some tarnishing on that necklace. I did end up picking up these earrings, but not for the competition. It was so hard to put things down with the sale going on and back to the shoes. Um, I don't know why, shoes I just felt were very important. These are Johnston and Murphy suede wedges that I did end up picking up, but not for the competition. Oh, these made me so sad. Um, this brand had the most amazing comps. I was so excited. I put them in my cart. I had that Lulu's sequins bomber jacket, which I did not end up using for the competition. Um, and then I discovered that these shoes were seriously flawed. I mean, the comps on these were like $100 in some cases. It was very sad I had to put those back. And once again, 
go back to the drawing board. So here, I think I'm still looking for like a layering piece in the tank top section. And I kind of struggled over here, but um, I end up finding something else. But you can kind of see how my process was a little all over the place. And um, what I ended up choosing was not anything that you've seen so far. So let's get back and do the haul. Okay, friends, well, I am back from my adventure and I am so excited about how everything played out. As you could see from my video, I had a tremendous amount of selection. Once I was in the store and realized that I had a 50% off coupon, I ended up going crazy. Um, I don't even think I got a fraction of the footage, but I was there for three hours and I ended up getting 40 items for $153. So obviously for the purpose of today's video, you are only going to see what I decided to use for the challenge today. And I'm so excited, but certainly that 50% off coupon helped me a lot. Uh, and a little birdie told me that my competitor also hit a coupon. So I think we both had a little advantage, which made it pretty even in the end. Once I got into the thrift store, even though my intention was to go and only thrift things for this competition, once I got in there and realized I could use a 50% off coupon, I went crazy. Um, the past few times I've been to Savers, I've been there on Sundays and Mondays, and those are days that they don't stock the floor. So I happened to be here on a Friday afternoon around two o'clock and I could not keep up with the racks that were coming out. So it was a great day um, to do some thrifting and I did get 50% off. So that is definitely reflective in just how much, you won't believe how much I actually got for $25 or less. I'm going to let you know how much I paid for each item. I left the price tags on so you could see and um, we'll do a tally at the end and then you check out Blake's video and comment below and let me know who you think won this competition. So the parameters around this, which I explained earlier, was that we had to find a top, a bottom, and a pair of shoes. That's what we had to get for $25. Anything extra is just extra. If we could come in under budget and we wanted to get scarves and accessories, whatever we wanted, we could. For starters, I selected this beautiful blouse from Zara with these gorgeous pin tuck pleating. It's just a stunning top. To me, this is like perfect for brunch. Um, it has like some gathering here in the center. This is a size small, some beautiful smocking on the sleeves. And this was just $7.49, so half off. This was just $3.75 can't beat that. So when I was first shopping, um, I was really inspired by that Ralph Lauren suede jacket with the tassels, but it didn't really scream brunch to me. That was more like festival girl concert. Um, so I went in another direction, but it was hard for me to narrow down with so many choices, like the look I wanted. I wanted something that was a classic look, um, kind of a timeless look for brunch that I also think would work for people in their 20s up to people in their 50s. I didn't go too, too trendy. So that was some of my inspiration, but I thought this blouse was beautiful and it was new with tags. So 375 for my first piece. I'm gonna show you what I got for required pieces first, and then I'm gonna go back with the add-ons. So next up, I just got a a nice classic pair of high-waisted mom jeans from American Eagle. They are kind of that nice, stretchy, lived-in feeling. They have some whiskering in the front. My dogs love to bark during my videos. These are a size two, I believe, and just a very classic pair of jeans. I wanted to go classic on the bottom. Um, I don't know if I caught it in the video, but there were a pair of faux leather pants that I was really inspired by, and I was thinking about working my entire outfit around those pants. And then when I got to the sorting part of my trip, I realized that they were just in really bad condition. They were like totally stretched out and I couldn't even purchase them. So I had to revamp my vision. So half off, these were $4.50. So we have $3.75 and $4.50, which brings my running total to $8.25. Next up are the shoes. I was really happy with these shoes. Initially, I was looking at ankle boots and I was thinking like skinny jeans and ankle boots. Um, and then I found these shoes by Steve Madden and I thought that these were like the perfect brunch shoes, right? Are these not perfect? I can totally picture wearing these on Newbury Street in Boston, uh, outside for a nice lunch with the girls, maybe some mimosas for brunch with friends. These are size eight and a half. They were $8.49. 
making these $4.25. Here's the price, which brings our total up to $12.50. I've already fulfilled all the requirements and I've only used half my budget. So now let's get into what I got in addition to the three staples for this outfit. I decided that I wanted to give people an option with their top. Um, I found a blazer early on that I was very excited about, but I wasn't crazy about how the pink shirt looked underneath. Because of the high collar, I kind of like a lower, more open collar with blazers, but you could certainly work it with that for a look. But as an option, I decided to give you another choice. So let's just see what else you could wear on top. I ended up picking up this cropped shirt for somebody who just wants that little extra sass for their outfit. Um, this is Nasty Gal Collection. I specifically wanted to go with a more neutral palette, so this took me longer than you would think to find just a very basic shirt that wouldn't be too bulky underneath a blazer. So I got this. It actually has an open back to it as well, but I am not styling it that way with my outfit today but I think it would look really cute with the jeans and the patent leather flats. Um, and then to go over this, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily wear this alone to brunch. This would just be a layering piece. It is cropped, but the jeans are a high rise. And then this was the showstopper that I got. I found this plaid Giorgio Armani Classico, made in Italy, size 40 wool blend, beautiful, beautiful blazer. So, and it has some blue in it. I like the little pop of color for this outfit and I just think that blazers are very trendy right now and just a very chic look to elevate your style. So walking into brunch, you have your Armani blazer on and your cute patent leather shoes. So like I said, I'm not sure that I would pair this blazer with that high neck collar Zara top, but I think it really works with the Nasty Gal um, just plain ribbed top underneath. I looked in the t-shirt area to see if there was some fun graphic band tee or just something that would look a little more edgy to put under the blazer, but I kind of was going with a more subdued classic look, so I stuck to the more neutral palette. I was so annoyed too because this was of course the highest value piece that I got, and when I was messing around putting things on hangers, I popped off the price tag. So you all have to trust me on this, but this was in fact, $7.49, bringing this Armani blazer to the grand total of just $3.75. So we were at $12.50. The cropped shirt was $3.25. The blazer was $3.75. So that brings my total from $12.50 to $19.50. How crazy, 1950, and I've already added a blazer and a shirt. I still have $5.50 to spend. Let's see what else I found. I just keep moving my camera because the light is of course moving. I'm like a human sundial with this video as I'm moving down. We want to add some accessories now to this beautiful outfit, so I managed to score this adorable belt from Madden Girl, and it has like this little chain that slides, I think it's so cute. And do you happen to see the price on that? It's $1.99 for this belt, new with tag. Um, and I think it's just gorgeous how this works with the shoes. Let me find the shoes again. This is the Nasty Gal top. So if you if you decided to go with this look where the jeans high-waisted, you know, the belt would be absolutely perfect with this outfit. And then you also have your shoes. So I loved how all of these work together. I also felt that this belt also worked very well with the color of the, the rose-colored blouse from Zara. And that was a dollar. So now we are up to $20.50, still going strong. And then I thought we needed some beautiful earrings for this event, and I found ones that I'm so excited about. Oh, and while I was shopping, oops, did I bring it up here? While I was shopping for these earrings, I picked up this bracelet. This is not part of the challenge. I got this Kate Spade bangle that says, No Sleep Till Brooklyn, um, and the timing of this was unbelievable because one of my best friends in the whole wide world, her son moved to Brooklyn yesterday when I was shopping. 
and she was playing this song to me via a text message when they were on their way to Brooklyn to drop him off. You guys may know it's my friend Eddie who's been featured in my videos quite a few times. Um, he is an art student. He's going to be living in Brooklyn and I'm wishing him all the best. When I was shopping for jewelry, I saw this bracelet over there. It was $1.50 and the comps were insane. I listed it for $125 last night and it sold this morning for $100. So wow, I was really thrilled about that. I just had it in front of me because I brought it upstairs to ship. I'm grateful for this challenge because I typically don't don't shop for jewelry when I'm at Savers, but I happen to be over there and that's why I grabbed that bracelet. But I did pick up these earrings, which I love. I love the shape of these and the detail on them is just so pretty. They just slide right in. I'm gonna try these on for you because these are such Lori earrings. I went for the neutral color with just a little bit of bling. See how pretty they are? I just think these are so lovely. When you see it next to the Zara piece, I just think it all works together so well. These were $2.99 and then half off, so these cost just $1.50. What are we up to? I'm losing track. Last up, I picked up a clutch to wear to brunch. Um, this is by Hobo International. Uh, this is a, a brand that I do love to pick up. It has this change purse that is still attached inside and this really lovely paisley print inside, this paisley pattern. Hobo has quite a following. They usually have this magnetic closure. Um, this is so nice with a zip back and the price on this wallet is just $3.99, which means this was just $2. Oh my gosh, I can't believe everything that I got for that amount. So at the end of the day, on all of these pieces, I spent $24. So I still had almost enough money to go get myself a coffee after I went thrifting. Let's review everything and you let me know after you watch Blake's video who won this challenge. The Armani blazer with the Nasty Gal cropped top underneath these two pieces. We also have the American Eagle denim jeans, mom fit this gorgeous Zara pleated blouse. This is my favorite. I just thought this was so beautiful. Uh, we have the Steve Madden shoes to go with both of these looks, just so timeless. We also have the Madden Girl Newith Tag belt. We have these beautiful earrings and this adorable hobo wallet all for a grand total of $24. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces for $24. I don't know, Blake, this is gonna be a tough one to match. Comment below and let me know what you thought of this challenge. Let me know if this is something you'd like to see me do in the future. Blake and I have some great ideas planned um, where we will continue to do the $25 outfit challenge and give different themes. If you like any of these pieces, they will all be live in my Poshmark closet, and there will be a haul for the other 30 some odd items that I picked up yesterday. That sale was just amazing. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll be back real soon. All right, bye everyone. This was so much fun, bye. Be sure to head on over to Blake's channel now and check out his video. Give us your feedback on who you think won this competition. I will have all of Blake's information linked in my description. Thanks so much, everybody.